So today I decided to put a rookie Michael Jordan and a rookie LeBron James in the current NBA and have them race to 99 overall. And to make their race a little bit easier, at the beginning of every single season, I'll be spinning a wheel to help either one of them hit 99 overall the fastest. Now, if you do the ultimate feat and win a championship, you get two spins on the wheel to help you hit 99 overall the fastest. And as you can see, this wheel has a ton of great things, like plus five overall, hot zones everywhere, and Hall of Fame badges everywhere. Like, and this wheel is going to be the deciding factor of who can hit 99 overall the fastest. So before the first season, let's go ahead and do our first wheel spin for Michael Jordan. So MJ off rip is going to get a plus 15 to his driving dunk and his standing dunk. So it's going to be really good, probably giving him like a whole overall point. Now let's go ahead and do our spin for LeBron James. LeBron is going to start off with gold finishing badges, which should put him as a decently good advantage compared to Michael Jordan, who already has a plus two overall advantage on him at the beginning of their rookie season. So MJ before the 15 dunk is an 85 overall, and after the 15 dunk, he goes from an 85 to an 86 overall at the beginning of his rookie season. And LeBron is an 83 overall before we put the gold finishing badges on him, and after the gold finishing badges, he matches Michael Jordan at the beginning of their rookie seasons as an 86 overall. All right, so at the end of LeBron's rookie season, he is an 88 overall in the rookie of the year, averaging 24 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists. And the Cleveland Cavaliers are the one seed in the Eastern Conference with a 60 and 22 record. And Michael Jordan also finishes an 88 overall to end this season. Jordan was also averaging 23 and a half points, 3 and a half rebounds, and 6 assists. So they're both an 88 overall with really good stat lines as rookies. So in the first round of the playoffs, the Cleveland Cavaliers matched up against the New York Knicks. And it was a really close series. But LeBron James and Donovan Mitchell were dominant in game seven and ended up taking the first round. Now for Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, they matched up against the Boston Celtics and lost in five games. But them still making the playoffs in the first year is still an accomplishment. Now in the second round for LeBron, he matched up against the Boston Celtics and he must love game sevens because he had a dominant performance in game seven against the Boston Celtics, I mean, bringing them to the here, Eastern you know, Conference Finals. You know, now in the Eastern Conference Finals versus the Philadelphia 76ers, it went to another game seven, but this time it was not in LeBron James's favor, and Jabal Embiid and James Harden beat them in game seven. Now it's the start of season two, so let's go ahead and do the wheel spin for Michael Jordan. So after the wheel, it decided that he is going to get Stephen Curry's shooting, which should make him the front runner to win this challenge. Now, Michael Jordan before these upgrades is a 91 overall at the start of season two, and his mid range is already a 99, but once I max out his three ball, he is officially a 93 overall. Now let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're gonna get for LeBron. LeBron is going to get Hall of Fame playmaking badges, and I'm not going to lie, that might be overpowered. So LeBron before these upgrades is a 90 overall, and after these changes, he is a 92 overall. So this race is really close to the beginning of Season 2, and let's see where it is at the end of Season 2. So at the end of Season 2, LeBron James is a 94 overall, and he has season averages of 24.6 points per game, 7.7 .7 rebounds, and 11.2 assists. And there might only be like one or two more seasons left before before this race is actually over. I thought it would take a lot more time, but LeBron James is already a 94 overall. And Michael Jordan is also a 94 overall with 25 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, and six assists per game. This is a really close race, and I'm not gonna lie, this might come down to the wheel at the end of the day. Now the Chicago Bulls did not make the NBA playoffs, but the Cavaliers are the three seed. And in LeBron James fashion, it went to a game seven in the first round. But like usual, he closed out the game seven and a dominant performance all by himself, bringing them to the second round of the playoffs. And in the second round, they match up against Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks and beat them in six games. And like usual, LeBron James absolutely dominated with some help from Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. Now the Eastern Conference Finals, they match up against the Miami Heat, absolutely destroying them in the Eastern Conference Finals in a five game series. LeBron had an absolute dominant performance and dropped 54 points in game five. Now the Cleveland Cavaliers are in the NBA Finals. LeBron 
LeBron has a chance to get two wheel spins right here and could potentially win the race off of this NBA championship. And the Utah Jazz were too much with the newly acquired Victor Wembanyama, and the Cavaliers and LeBron James lost in game five. Now they started season three, LeBron James is a 96 overall, and Michael Jordan is barely behind at a 95. So this wheel spin right here could definitely end the race to 99 overall. Now let's go ahead and see what LeBron's gonna get on the season three wheel spin. LeBron is going to get plus 25 attributes, which should not bring him up too high. So he's definitely not going to be a 99 overall. So LeBron's three-point shot is only an 82. So I'm going to use 17 of our attributes on that, maxing that to a 99. And if my math is right, we have eight attributes left. And I'm going to put the rest of that on my mid-range. And after that, LeBron James is a 98 overall. So this is definitely going to be the last season. And if we have a good season, this could be the end of the race. Now, MJ needs a really good wheel spin right here. So so that he can win the race himself. So Michael Jordan got John ja Moran's finishing, which might actually be like a curse for him. Cause I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, that he already has like a 99 driving look and everything. So this might be absolutely useless. It might cause him to lose this race. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring his standing dunk up four to a 99. And if he doesn't have a 99 vertical, I'm gonna bring that up from an 89 to a 99 and see what that brings him. And Michael Jordan's overall stays the same and he's still a 95. So he's a 95 at the start of season three and LeBron James is a 98 at the start of season three. Let's go ahead and simulate the rest of this season. So at the end of season three, LeBron James is the most valuable player with averages of 28 points, nine rebounds and 11 assists. And he's actually 99 overall, which means unless Michael Jordan ties him, he wins this competition and wins the race. And Michael Jordan just couldn't get it done. Even though he had averages of 30 points, six rebounds and seven assists, he only finished as a 96 overall at the end of season three, which means LeBron James is the winner of this competition. Now, if you wanna see me make Taco Fall an NBA superstar, go ahead and click on this video right here. I promise you, you guys won't regret watching it.